All right, welcome to round one here at Liberty, playing some Pioneer. We got Ray versus John Mark. Ray is on the play. All uh, right, uh, I'll go 18 and play an Elvish Mystic. You can switch boxes and link to a Pokemon just slowly loader, not even Play planes, and I'm going to go with a recruitment officer. Pass turn. Draw. Uh, play a Carplosion Forest, yeah. and play Hazardous Mind. What does that do? Yeah. <laughs> it's sweet. Creature spells cost one capture. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may discard a card from your Sweet. Yep, and it is legendary. Okay. Right, go ahead. You hit me for. Oh no, you played that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Use it for mana. I am going to go with planes. I'm going to play a Hopeful Initiate, yep. and I'm going to play a Dauntless Bodyguard on my Hopeful Initiate, go. and then I'm going to swing you for two. Go to 16. Go ahead. <coughs> Draw. Let's do... <laughs> play Prosperous Innkeeper. Sure. Uh, trigger this for casting a creature. I'm going to discard uh, Green Agus to draw card. Okay. Uh, get a treasure. I'm going to take two, go to 14. Sure. Uh, I'll pay one, two, sacrifice this. Uh, actually, no, I don't have sacrifice it. I forget. Red Chaos Ball is. So play one and two. Pick this up. I'll cast some Grinning Aegis. Okay. Uh, trigger this, discard, uh, which means you draw a card. Can I read Grinning Aegis? Yeah. yeah. Cool. And then it comes into play. I gain one. Yep. So I'm 15. 15. And then I'm going to sacrifice this for red, bounce mm -hmm. this to my hand, generate three mana. Uh, so have red and two colorless. I use red and a colorless, so I have colorless floating. Recast it. Mm -hmm. uh, discard this card. Closure for us to draw a card. Okay. And gain one. Okay. Sixteen. Uh, do nothing with the colorless and pass turn. Okay. Gonna play the heat of vault. The hardest thing for me to remove. I am going to I'm going to Cathar your gritting into this. Sure. Let's go. Um, and then I'm going to move to combat, and I'm going to swing 2, 4, 6. No blocks. Go to 10. Go ahead. Draw. Sanctum tapped. I will cast Collected Company in the main phase. Stack does a lot, huh? Yeah. I'm going to put Burgi and Granny Angus in play. Mm -hmm. uh, trigger, I gain two life. Sure. 12. 12. Are you familiar with Burgi? Mm -hmm. She... Whenever I cast a spell, I can add it right now. Alright, I add it right now. Does so it empty? Yeah. Okay, so you can keep it till your second main? Uh, till EOT. EOT. It goes all the way to Sweet. clean up. And then... Uh, that's it for me. Go ahead. Draw. Land for turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Gonna play Cathar mm -hmm. on Burner. Start uh, bouncing this. One red, two colors. I'm gonna spend colorless, green, and a brownish. Mm. I don't want to test this. I do colorless, green, blue. Uh, cast Risen Reef. Okay. Uh, trigger, trigger. So, oh yeah, this trigger too. I'm casting. I'll discard this to draw a card. Whatever. Okay, so you're at five. Yep. And then Risen Reef. Um, I'll put this in my hand. We will find out very Mm-hmm. I'm gonna cast a file. What does that do? Um first turn consider house panther permanent spell to me two white spell for Or you cast red permanent spell. Sure. <coughs> and then I will <laughs> uh, trigger gain one for that so we to six. Oh sorry, six, yeah, it wasn't doing that on there. Yes. 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 Uh, yeah, it's going to be colorless, though. So. But yes, green. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pay two life and cast this for a colorless. It reduces one from this, and then I'm paying the red from the Phyrexian uh, to cast Green Okay. Um, so I go to four, and then casting trigger, I'm going to shoot this for one. Yeah. No. And a brave red. Okay. Yes. Um, so this enters. I gain one. Go to five, and then risen reef trigger. So my hand, and then uh, go to four. Bounce this back to my hand. And then I'll cast this again using red and the colorless. Um, so I'll go back to five, and then trigger. This is only your creatures, right? They get pro red. Yeah, all my white creatures have pro red. So I'm gonna use this and shoot you for one. Nineteen, and then trigger risen reef. And then that's it for me. Go ahead. There you go. Lucky 
be honest. I'm gonna pass. Okay. So tonight. Yep. And so when they transform back, then it eats another creature. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, draw. Yep. We're going to tap two. Uh, cast Burgie. Okay. Trigger gain one. So six. <laughs> right, I'm going to show you the loop now. Okay. Uh, pay red. Yep. Um, that is going to go in my hand. Uh, bounce this. Okay. So this is makes two colorless and a red. red. <coughs> I'm going to cast this hmm? for one red and a colorless. And then I get a red. It'll for make every a red time. so you can bounce it back. Yep, over and over and over and over again. And then so you're going to ping me for. A billion. 19. Yep. Yeah. I will eventually draw my deck because, well, not draw, but really put it all on my hand because this comes into play. But Yeah. But yes. That is the thing. That's not as scary as the Thespian Stage, I don't feel. This one? No, yeah. no. This one's sweet. Uh, so Thespian Stage, uh, Lotus Field is a, a good deck. It's just like I said, it's, it gets boring. Uh, this one, there's like a lot of play, give and take, back and forth. Yeah. And, well, and then when you played Collection Company, I was like, <laughs> what's going on? I was like, what, what am I playing against? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's actually like highly resilient, too, compared to when I first looked at the deck. I was like, oh, I don't know how good this is going to be. But then I started playing it. Oh, this actually comes together pretty, pretty uh, consistent. But you're right. It's Sweet from this. They're, they're cool. I um, was trying to possibly play in the standard event tomorrow at um, Evo. Oh. So I cracked my infinity box. I really want, wanted to <coughs> draft it or whatever. And then um, I was hoping that they'd have the cards for the deck I wanted to build for standard. They did not. What were we looking for? Um, Azoria Soldiers. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. A lot of that the, stuff is disgusting. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they opened that or any products for Brothers War. Um, I got a little, like, I got a few key pieces that I'll build from for it, but not enough for the deck itself. Sure. They have, like, that new, like, superhero build hold that makes X soldiers. Yeah. And then they have a. Uh, and then their Lord is really good. Yeah, their Lord is. Really good. 
But yeah, it looks it looks like a sick <coughs> sick deck. Mm. Yeah, if I was gonna play again, I'd just play Grixis. But... Yeah. I won a very small RCQ two weeks ago. What were you playing then? Grixis, then okay. standard. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. I will I'll play. Just right. Good luck. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I would like put the blade coil serpent fan and well, hold it in there. <laughs> Oh, and go for the throat. Go for the throats. Right. Yeah, I didn't realize that go for the throat was standard until the other day. Because I was looking at different lists and stuff to check out. Mm -hmm. and I was like, that's sick. Yeah. All right, I'll keep this. Yeah. The event that I played was actually the release weekend yeah. for Brothers War. And so go for the throat was legal. It's just I didn't open any of that set, and I wasn't going to go look for it yeah. uh, the morning of. So I just played the Infernal Grasp, and I counted the whole day, um, which was only three rounds. But I would have saved probably like 36 life total from if they were go for the throats. Yeah. So I was like, yep, this is a good addition. And then the Blade Coil, I assume, is good. But I haven't actually played with it. I'm gonna go to five. Okay. It's unfortunate. The white giveth and the white taketh. Well, the first one I had one land, and then this one I had five. <laughs> <laughs> the disparity. Yeah, I was just like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't. Need a well rounded. I, just like two or three. I'd keep two. You know? right. Two or three, maybe draw four somewhere. Yeah. Well, that recruitment offer is super sick. For oh, the, is it? The, yeah, so it's like so much value. one for a two one, and then yeah, because like when you're running out of gas or whatever, you pay four and grab another creature. Mm -hmm. so is it top four? Yeah. Nice. Like, top four or five, yeah. That's awesome. Either way, like much better. I'm running one non creature spell. I'm gonna keep so. five, but yeah. no I played a lot with Dust Watch Recruiter back in the day. Yeah. And that card was sweet, but it was only top three, though. Yeah. So. I'm just hoping that they give us like good white removal again. All of it's coming in at Sorcerer's oh, Gate. Yeah. You got all the good creatures. You don't need instant speed. Yeah. <laughs> Be a shame to put it over the top. Okay. Um. Bottom that. And bottom that. I guess. All right. Ready? Ready. Planes. Officer. Go. Help. Go ahead. Mike. Let me get scared. Dauntless. Yep. Officer. Uh, speed two. Eighteen. Go ahead. Oh, okay. This way. Yeah. Drop. Yeah, yeah. Inspire uh, Bluff. Two, play Innkeeper. Sure. And then I'll play an Elf Trigger Gate. One. Nice. Nice. Go ahead. Um, pass turn. this to my hand. Uh, make a color this in two red. Oh, sorry, one red and two colors rather. Uh, I'm going to spend the red 
two colorless and paying two red mana, mm -hmm. or two life for a red mana with this guy. I'm gonna cast another Defiler. Okay. Trigger, shoot that. Yep. Sure. And then, uh, two, I'll oh, trigger gain one actually from the end keeper. This deck has so many triggers. I haven't played Magic all week. I gotta get back to it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pay two life, go to 16, cast Green and Aegis. Uh, these two carriers hit that's, you for two. That's good. Oh. The machine gun. Yeah, your deck's 